So I'm back at it again with another freaking video. We're about to do a little bit of fishing. We're going to go back to Dalton with my buddy. We might just hit a little bit of a little bit of extra fishing. You know, uh, it's real good today out here in Middle Tennessee. We're going to try to do what we can do. Um, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And man, let's just get into the freaking video and see if we can't catch any fish. that little 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 tiny tiny hook uh, i'm gonna try to get us some very small bluegills some baby and i'm gonna be very picky about the size and see if that'll help us on our chances out there on the water i don't really know hopefully we catch some fish but uh like i said before my wacky rig isn't gonna always work uh and what will always catch aggressive fish is more fish so uh let's see if we can get a couple of them all right so uh here i am my buddy just called he is early and so i'm hoping that i can catch at least one little 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 bluegill because i've got to go oh those are so perfect size oh that's such a perfect size look at that oh that's candy oh that's candy look at that bluegill that is pure candy right there pure candy of a fish okay i see some down here let's see if we can't snatch one up look at that man that's good oh yeah man this hook is so tiny you know how smart bluegill are you know they know how to pick uh pick something off a darn hook that's for sure uh, but this hook here is so darn tiny they don't know what the heck just happened to them such a pretty fish i think with a good solid uh five of them we'll be fine because uh, i've got to get one of my buddy just call me and we can get a little fishing done but let's try to get Maybe one more. All right, he pulled off. I'm just pinching a little off like that. was a little big what do y'all think is he too big he might be yeah he's a little big let's come back over here so we can be a little bit more choosy Oh man, that little one, that little tiny little thing there, that'd be perfect. And then of course the biggest one comes. Oh, that little baby, little itty bitty thing. That was perfect. I think maybe I put a little bit too much on there.
Oh, that. Oh, my goodness. The candy ones are so hard to catch. The candy ones are so hard to catch. Oh, my goodness. They're so hard to catch. Oh, they're so hard. Why are they so hard to hook? There we go. There's the perfect size bluegill right there. Pretty, pretty snack. Man, we're back out here at Dartmoor and look at this scenery, just beautiful. Let's see if we can't get into some fish, baby. Woo! So we are hitting these coves and trying to uh, see these clear bass. And I mean, we're seeing them, uh, but they're just so spread out. And uh, half of fishing is just finding where the fish are, especially in these really big, deep lakes. That's where I missed the fish. I mean, he was pretty much where this tree is, just right in front of it on that seawall. Right, no Point it toward the seawall and everything. I see a big one. I see a, I see two. I see two. Oh, wow, they're big. Okay. Turn your camera on. I don't want to miss it. Say it. Say YouTube for it. Don't you it, talk to it? It only does it when it cuts off. That's getting their attention for sure. Yep, oh, here he is. is. Here he is. I want that fish. Oh, he swam right by. Big orange. Very pretty fish.
He's pretty nice size. Biggest one for me today. I just came home to my fish being on the floor. I have this big fish tank and my peacock bass, the biggest one that I have, and my silver dollar. He's still alive. My silver dollar's still alive a little bit. He's breathing. Oh, I hope he can make it. The peacock bass, though, is very much gone. I'm just going to make a video about my peacock bass and how they're different than a regular bass. I don't even know what to do now. I guess we'll say goodbye to my peacock bass. And it's crazy how big he looks out of water. GoPro, stop recording.